A perfect day here at Jeffreys Bay and a big matchup for Kelly Slater. Wants to maintain his place at the top end of the Jeep leaderboard up against Kyle Abelli. Great to have your company as we keep moving through the round of 32. The 11 time world champ Kelly Slater up on his first ride. He is taking on Kyle Abelli. And they've met in the past, so obviously uh, there, there is a, a little more to this heat. Kelly loves to hold a head-to-head -head edge over his rivals. That's what he'll be going after here. We talked about Kanoa Igarashi and how fast and clean he is on the rail. Uh, has obviously won the uh, contest a bunch of times. Four, in fact, right up there with Mick Fanning. We look on the replay, there's the little tube. Short, but it shows what he's looking for. First turn before the barrel. Beautiful snap there. Dropping down to the bottom of this one, into the lip. And uh, great starter from Kelly Slater. I don't feel like we've seen people maximise the opportunities that are there at the start of this heat without priority at some of the other heats. Kelly Slater smart enough to recognise there's a chance to, to get some points on the board and make a count. Um, nobody's more respected. Here's Kyo. Kyle Belly's had some great performances throughout this season. None better than Bali, where he surfed himself into the semi-finals, losing out to the eventual winner. Good looking wall here for the young Brazilian, but unfortunately, just overcooks it on the inside. Oh, disappointing. Stood up where Seth's wave got smaller as it went. Well, here we go, Slater, surfing in heat 15, climbs the roof, extended float there. And now goes looking for a big bash, just kicks on that tail, swings it right around and tries to add a, some extras on the inside. Kelly has been using it to great effect as well. He kind of, it's one of those ones he's known for. He does something interesting here when he goes for the float. You watch, he's pumping and driving. And he kind of just, the way the body went was almost designed to keep him up on the lip. And then he goes for that big layback snap. Got himself a little bit behind and mistimed the, the last turn. Always sort of creating big points. Um, be interesting to see where that one comes in because he's got to get out of the five. Kyle Belly down the mine. Yeah, that was a, a big float attempt. A little bit of water caught him. Kelly Slater. 47 years of age. Kelly Slater attacks the lip here. Trying to get rid of the 4.83. Gets the rebound just to set up Roundhouse to get through to this inside section. Nice big flow. Oh, awkward landing. For the longest serving member on the championship tour of all time. He's 27th year, 55 championship tour wins. Both look like they're surfing at a, a different speed. Just a little more acceleration in their equipment. Mm. Here's a replay of Kelly. First turn. It was okay. Second turn, snap. It's kind of like he's biding his time, waiting for it to stand up here. And he went for the so hit off the lip and a little drift and show of control. It wasn't that radical, but it was well done, well managed. Into the cutback, into the inside. This is where the big points were coming, and he looked like he had it. And then just as it landed, fell forward. Here's the replay. Compression, getting low, starts to extend out. Gets up onto that lip, hits it really nicely. Didn't get there too early, didn't get there too late. And there's that free fall. Yeah, 100%. There's so much distance between the inside and the outside, probably three to 400 yards. I mean, depending on how, how far you ride the waves out the back, it looks like Kayo is up and riding. Look at this wave, it's a beaut. Let's see if he can do some damage on the corner. A couple of nice snaps, some lip line floats. This thing's kind of running away from him a bit. Let's see if he gets something done on the inside here. Slater looking on as he goes by. So fun to watch the interaction between the surfers. Bang, up Ooh. into the lip, a lot of fin right there out the back. Nice turn right there on the face. So great surfing and he's not done yet. Can he get something done on the inside? Little sloppy, but definitely finishing off quite well there. A lot of paddling. Coyote's gonna have to do a 400 yarder all the way back to the top. How was that bottom turn, Ronnie? Kayo driving out of the bottom. This is a bumpier, lumpier outside sort of set wave. But when it starts to get crazy down the inside, so does Kayo. Foam climb here, and this is when Strider in the live call said, oh, it's gone a little bit mushy. And he came through, he bided his time, waited. And this is the section, drives out of the bottom. Beautiful snap out of the top. Vertical, searing, cut back on the inside, roundhouse hit into a closeout turn. Best wave of the heat so far? Judges. He sure has. 47, Kelly Slater taking advantage of this little inside one. 
catches the nose. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. A lot of time together sharing the same major sponsor. As we'll roll in with Kyle from out the back. Solid one there, big first turn. Thanks for watching on Fox. This is the Corona Open, J-Bay, Kelly versus Kyle, Italo, Jack just getting started. Absolutely pumping. Joe Terpel and Martin Potter will bring in Adriano de Souza as we highline with Kelly. With a ton of speed, a huge cavern. Kelly travels. On the same city uh, I am, and um, yeah, like 14. When I when I did 14, I went straight to Australia and I won the the World Junior Games. Everything for me, the road. Everything. <laughs> you weren't going to be home very you know, often. And, uh, <laughs> it was like. Oh, I, I was waiting for you to be very <laughs> aggressive, and now you're so friendly and in respect. And uh, that was the first time sh he showed me the respect, you know, where I am. I was, I, I was so glad that day. I come back home, I almost crying, like, he respect me, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> That's a you beautiful know, so. feeling and well-deserved. Disoza with us for the call. The 2015 world champ watching the 11-time world champ in motion. Front side carve, tail release. One of his signature moves. Kelly blitzes it off the lip. This wall looking solid down the line. Oh, Weightless so on the re-entry, off balance. Go back to the takeoff, Kyle right in his face. And Kelly getting started with this turn punch. Yeah, nice, beautiful cutback. Waiting for the swipe to stand up. Now starts to get a bit more vertical. And again, that big wrap that Kelly's got going. Another nice turn. Just building his speed down the line, and he's got to finish strong, and that's exactly what he oh, almost catches that rail. And now having a look at a little layback carving turn, Kaiwa Belly. Flow oh. off the top and a wild landing. Ends up being impossible. Then also Kaya getting started here. Started off with a little wrapping cutback. What happened on the end section, Adriano? Yeah, I think he go for broke, you know, right there. And unfortunately, he don't make it the last maneuver. I think it would be a good score Ooh. if he made it. <laughs> Heard what happened. Decided to miss your flight to come back to give Mick a big hug. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, I, even on right now. I'm, yeah, chicken skin. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, was kind of like those time I almost lost a friend, you know, and I, I not alive you know so i was at the airport and and my wife called me and i say did you saw what happened i was doing my ticket and everything at the, at the counter right away 90 seconds to go kaiwa belly needing a seven point ride vertical snap real clean off the lip looking solid through his second point starting to drive down the line hard off the bottom clean carve the former World Junior Champ just setting up a finishing move, stays on his feet and lets out a roar. Now Kelly will take this one before he runs out of time. The four-time J-Bay Champ gets started with a big top turn. Sits on the lip line to float the transition. Another one through the whitewater. Quick speed jam down the line. Hard off the bottom, quick hack off the lip. Right into a beautiful finishing move. Kelly stays on his feet. So last score now starting to filter in for Kiowa Belly, chasing the seven point ride, finishing down the beach. And that score is gonna come in just short. 6.13, Kelly gets the win to move on to the round of 16.